He is the governor of the Golden State of California, which officially reopens today. Please welcome the mighty governor, Gavin Newsom! Gavin Newsom, he's here, he's on the stage, he's gonna take a seat. Oh, yeah. James. So nice to see you, Governor. We've only met on Zoom before, Virtually. and it's I got to say, I want to touch you, but apparently we can't just yet. <laughs> we, well, can we tell me? I'm you, just saying. Here's the truth. Yes. We don't know what we're meant to do. California's <laughs> reopened. Yeah, we are. What does this mean? Could we still wear masks? Can we shake hands? Walk me through the rules. What are the rules? <laughs> So, no one quite knows. No, 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 as of today, officially in the state of California, there are no mandates on physical distancing, social distancing, mask wearing that's inconsistent with the CDC guidelines and or maximum occupancy, which means it's time to bring back the studio audience uh, here on your I, show. Well, yeah, I said it. I went let's, right there. Let's not... And That's I want to say this to the CEO walk. and directors at CBS. <laughs> it's time to reopen on the West Coast of the United States. We can't take this East Coast bias. I saw what happened last night in the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. 700 people. Thank you. Chanting we without We got masks. seven here. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that ain't right. This is the West Coast. I know. Yeah. We've got all this space. <laughs> Thank you. We've got all this space. We've got all this space. Thank you. We have space. Fifth largest economy in the world. On planet Earth. On planet Earth. It is the largest in the United States of America. Yeah. Thank you. You're Tempo welcome. Of the American Well, we'll economy. get to this. We'll get to this. But I'm enjoying your... Um, I'm yeah, enjoying no, your no vibe. here. Let's not rock so on right So to the right board of directors no, of Viacom, I want to thank you <laughs> for your consideration. Forgive me. Governor, uh, you're... No, You're I... acting like any of them have ever watched this show. <laughs> that, is, that is... The man right. you need to talk to is right... Just right, sat right, right there. there. Now, I the know what you're thinking. He's clearly an intern who's on some kind of day release. <laughs> right, he's really unhappy I was invited on today. Yeah, he's in trouble. Have you heard his podcast? Get well, don't worry. But... <laughs> Um, you, leave, leave me out of this. You have time with this? the governor of Nick, California. Nick, Nick, why would we leave? You're the senior. <laughs> Come on, You're Nick. the senior vice president of late night programming on the west coast of CBS. <laughs> this is the only late night show on the west coast on CBS. <laughs> and there is also no junior vice president, so... <laughs> It, it is really just a no, waste way, of ink. Poor Nick. That, this is Nick. This is what being governor feels yeah. like. Over the last <laughs> year. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a I think you're right, Nick. Yeah. So you, man, you it's think tough. you? Just to be clear, you, as the governor of the state, are yes. saying this: the mask, <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> Let me to be clear. Let it's me, a nonsense. The state of California is not getting in the way of that determination and that decision. Well, that so is we wonderful are moving, news. We turn the page. California is one of the lowest case rates, positivity rates, one of the highest vaccination rates in the United States of America. It's so fantastic. So we're moving. It's we're so moving. great. Get this behind us. And you. You've had the most incredible day. You, you've, today, you've given away more than $15 million in prizes. Oprah Winfrey, eat your heart out. <laughs> million for you, a million for you. <laughs> Imagine being in politics, giving away money. I About know. as good as it gets. Well, here you are here. Look, right. Vax for the win. You're here with, a, I think, like a Transformer and a Minion. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's not just any Transformer. That's Optimus Prime. So yeah. it's, <laughs> it's you and Optimus Prime and a Minion, which... <laughs> just, it's... Typical Couldn't think day of a better Hollywood. way to reopen California. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the West Coast. But this was a fun day, right? It was fun. Come on. No, we, we, were, we did the largest cash prize in the United States. And what's amazing is, uh, we, in fact, we just found out one of the first winners who just got a million and a half dollars earlier. And the stories of these folks. Today, we gave away $50,000 checks from previous week. Folks that are first generation people that are under the age of 18 that couldn't even imagine getting money like this. And it's just really heartbreaking to realize how many people are paycheck to paycheck and how transformative this can be. But they only got the money because they had the courage to get the vaccine and get us to a position where we can lay claim to having one of the lowest positivity rates in America. And I want to encourage people that are on the fence job is not done. We need to continue to get vaccinated. We absolutely do. I mean, I will say... <laughs> like, there was, there was a moment in California where the, the, getting a vaccine felt sort of... You know, there it, it was a discombobulation away, and then suddenly 
as soon as that sort of new flood of vaccines came in, I've been so impressed in the way, the turnaround in the notion of just anybody that needs one, wants one, has been able to get one. And how difficult was that to, to get the vaccination process to that point? Well, and just, you got to put California in perspective. It's a nation. Yeah. It's the size of 21 states in America combined. And so it's a flywheel. It just takes time. And so when we started, the first vaccination was December 14th. Helen Cordova, who is with us today, a frontline employee, a nurse, and she told a wonderful story today about the heartbreak and the reality. Tens of thousands of people have lost their lives yeah. just here in California, hundreds of thousands, of course, in this country. But that December, we didn't really know what was in store for us, right? December, late December, yeah. early January. Late January, I was ordering body bags from outside of the state because we had run out of body bags here in Southern California. So this is an exciting day as we turn the page, but it's also sobering of the reality. Uh, 300 plus million people, for that matter, billions of people around the world have experienced and suffered and continue to suffer through. And so with that said, we were able to go from that slow start to now having one of the top vaccination rates in the world. We're number nine of any jurisdiction on the planet. 16.3 million more vaccine doses administered here in the state than the second largest state in the country. And so we really made progress. But again, uh, it's, been, it's been humbling. There's one word, James, last year, humility. Humility. Well, it feels like all leaders during COVID faced endless critiques for their performances. Look, looking back, do you have any regrets? Is there anything that you would have done differently? You know, we were the first state to do the stay at home. And trust me, I mean, that's not an easy decision yeah. to make that magnitude of a decision a state this large and then impact some of the conversations across the country. Look, in hindsight, we're not just all experts. We're geniuses. So obviously, if I could go back with an understanding of, of intended consequences, unintended consequences, we'd have done a lot of things differently. But nothing more important and impactful, I think, as a nation than this, how, as a country, we allowed mask wearing to become politicized. Yes. How, as a country, we allowed getting a vaccination to become politicized and polarized. And for me, there's thousands of lives literally are lost in this country because we allowed that to take shape. And so in every way, shape or form, feeling part of that conversation, I feel like we could have been even more assertive in terms of these quote unquote non-pharmaceutical interventions like wearing face coverings that truly do save lives. I know we're mocking a little bit of that at the moment, but we know in the absence of vaccines, that's been the most powerful impact in terms of mitigating the spread. Well, it really has. And I also feel like masks are something we should just keep around in our lives. When you're in that day, you had a slight snuffle, a cough, a cold, wear a mask. It's proven that those just colds, flu symptoms, they, they will we not We had the spread. best flu season in our history yeah. this year as a consequence. I haven't had a sniffle or a cold in a year and a half. I got four young kids. Trust me, that's a damn miracle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, uh, let's talk about this, the, the, the likely recall Election, oh, yeah, let's which... go right to that, yeah. <laughs> Things were going really well for everyone but CBS, and now, of course, yeah. Was that, was that, it was that the CEO of CBS no. in your ear saying, let's talk about the recall? We don't have to, we uh, don't have to talk about the recall. You can, I know. I don't know, you can give us some restaurants. Yeah. You might, wouldn't mind us eating you if you want, I don't know. We can go down that road. Uh, it's no, up to you. Now talk we're about regrets, my friend. Yeah, no, <laughs> you're asking me if I had regrets. Ah. But it feels Elephant like in the room. tell me, like it feels like this whole thing has been incredibly sensationalized. What, what are your what are your honest thoughts on this? Like the recall, how annoyed are you? Well, you know, you I, have to deal with this. For me, I think the hardest part is this is the sixth recall event effort. Sixth. I've only been in office 29 months. You feel like, I, I feel like I've been here 20 years. Yeah, it's been 29 months. Sixth effort, and this predates the pandemic. And if you look at the petition, people signed petitions, it talks about immigration. In fact, the principal proponent of the recall, and I don't mean this to be cheap shot or partisan, but the principal proponent wants to microchip immigrants. That's how this started. And so it's backed by the Republican Party, respectfully, and it's backed by some of our most well-known politicians like Newt Gingrich, Mike Huckabee. Uh, and so we're going to have to defeat it. And it's going to be on the ballot in a few months, and I take it very seriously. It's very sobering, but I'm also proud. Look, the state's not only turned the page on the pandemic, but we have the best economic output yes. of any state in America. We're Absolutely. number one in America in terms of job creation. 38% of America's jobs came out of the state last month. We're number one in terms of our surplus, an $80 billion operating surplus in the state of California, unprecedented in American history. So I really feel like the headwinds now are tailwinds, but I'm mindful and sober about the prospects of defeating this. I mean, it's been such, because like, obviously, 
I didn't know that this was the sixth time you'd have to sixth effort. deal yeah. with this. And you're, you're tasked with having to get people to vote against a recall effort while running California, as you said, the fifth largest economy on planet Earth. It, 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 are you exhausted? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm exhausted about? We're back in this mega drought on the west coast of the United yeah. States. Uh, we had one of the toughest fire seasons in our history last year. Uh, we're moving right back into wildfire season. So, look, for me, I, I, obviously, we got to focus and defeat the recall. Otherwise, it's a zero-sum game. At the same time, look, we moved from crisis and challenge to crisis and challenge. And last year, it wasn't just the pandemic. Remember, we had social unrest. We had all kinds of issues with the pandemic-induced recession and all the displacement, anxiety, and fear, the loneliness that everybody felt. Mm. And so we had to address all of that. Now we are turning the page, but now we've got to get back and confront those pre-existing conditions, not just wildfire drought, but also the issue that I know defines our frustration as Californians, defines my frustration, and that's homelessness and poverty. Yes. Well, I, I'm so pleased you brought that up because I, you know, my, me and my family, we moved here six and a half years ago, yeah. and it feels like it's got worse yeah. year upon year, and particularly in the past yeah. two years, 12 months, it's... You know, roads that I used to drive down on my way home are there is, and it's a crisis. It's yeah. an absolute crisis. Right. How do you even? How do you begin to address this? And what is your plan for? Well, what, number one, this? you got to acknowledge it. Yeah. And it's unacceptable. We're the richest and the poorest state in America. And you know, so many of the things that I ran on uh, over two years ago were focused on this issue. Obviously, the last 15 months has really put everything else in a different perspective and a paradigm. But I'll just tell you, last year. We were able to help house, no exaggeration, no BS, 100,000 people. We created 6,000 housing units, triple what we've ever done in our history. One of the interesting things in a pandemic, it stretches the mind and creates a sense of urgency. And as a consequence, once the mind is stretched, it never goes back to its original form. Meaning right. this, not only do we have a plan, but because of this historic budget surplus, $12 billion will be invested. Unprecedented. We've never broken a billion. $12 billion. We'll put wow. everything we have to implement strategies. And most importantly, James, the predecessor, a guy by the name of Ronald Reagan, he's the president of the United States, but also he's governor of California. In 1967, his first budget famously began the process of dismantling our behavioral health, mental health system here in California. We are investing the most money in the state's history to rebuild our mental health system. That's fantastic. In this state, happening right now. Seriously.